In this video, I want to show you a simple way to add lower thirds in Worship Extreme so you can get something like this. Coming up. Hey guys, this is AJ the CEO. If this is the first time you stop by my channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Um, I haven't done a Worship Extreme video in a while, so um, what I wanted to do is show you how you can add lower thirds into this. And honestly, it is really, 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 really simple. Um, pretty much in Worship Extreme, what you're really doing is just either showing a background or you can make the lower third as a song. Um, and it's just in a certain format with templates, if you remember templates. And there's another way to do that, but we'll talk about that one. So let's go ahead and cut over here to my computer. Again, you can get as fancy as you want, but I'm just gonna show you a simple way that you can actually start with, um, with lower thirds and then we'll go and amp it up a little bit. So let's go over in here. Now you can either make this inside of Worship Extreme or out. I'm using our favorite tool, Canva, but let's make it on the inside first. So what we're gonna do is go to slides and you can do, let's make one for, um, trying to think. Let's, I'm trying to think who we're gonna use it for. Why, why don't I just make it for myself? That'll make it easier instead of me trying to think of everybody. So let's do a blank one and we're gonna add some text. And what we wanna do is put this in the lower third of the screen, hence lower third. But let's actually type a name in here first. So we're gonna say AJ Holmes. All right. So that's as simple as we're gonna start out with, all right? So let's take this and now let's reshape this. Make sure we're moving this to the center. And then we want to align it to the left. And let's bump up the size a little bit. And then all we're going to do is call this let's put a hyphen there. Or let's do it this way. Lower hyphen. That way everybody's name is in there. And then we go from there. So there's your slide. And we just save that. And now, inside of your queue list over here, we're just gonna come in here, make a new entry, and we're just gonna bring up slides. We want to keep the background black for right now, because this is mixing between two things. Um, I'm assuming that you have some type of video mixer or something else, OBS or something like that, which I have both right now. But the more important thing is to keep the background a solid color, which I'm gonna keep black for right now. That's gonna make it easy. So you can either have a solid black background or just inherit background or none, which I have right now. Then I go here to slide and I just bring that up. So I have access to that. And if I cut over to the second screen, you can see it's already there. Really simple. Now, for me to bring this in on um, our ATEM, let me go ahead and bring up my ATEM controller right now so you can see. So on screen number two is the output from Worship Extreme, as you can see from right here. And that's when I just click here so you can see that. So, but instead of using our um, upstream keyer, we're going to use our downstream keyer. So the way the black magic devices work, anywhere where there's black, it automatically erases. So what we're going to do in here is, and we're actually already configured, we want to say our fill source is the output to monitor to, which again is right here. The source is also monitor to. 
This is only gonna work if our background isn't all black. So just from doing that right now, I'm in key number two. If I auto this, as you can see, my lower third shows up already. Let me see if I can bring my picture in picture here at the same time. That's what I was really trying to do. All right, so as you can see, I already have my lower third and that's just from me playing with the downstream keyer because we're already using black and black. That makes that really simple. So, and this is kind of like how we have it set up at my church. Now, we don't do lower thirds as much as we used to. I do them in post-production, but when we had still images, you can do this in ProPresenter, MediaShout, any of the softwares, because, and if you have an ATEM, all you need to do is have a black background in your text, and then that's as simple. That's how it works. Now, the other thing you could do is, let me turn this off and let's go back into Worship Extreme. Now let's look at how I did the other one here at the beginning of this video. So I'm gonna come in and I have used the lower thirds like I've told you about from Video Hive. I have my own lower third that I always put on my channel as well as the subscribe and stuff. And it's really just a video. And the video, if I go in here, it's just a video of animated pictures, images um, of my lower third, but notice the background is all black. Now, my ATEM is the lower one, so I can't load video into it, but that doesn't stop when you have some presentation software. So what I'm gonna do is just, let's modify this lower third, and instead, we're gonna play Take that off and we're gonna play media. So let me pick that lower third that I picked, that I made already. And if we go back over here, because again, we're looking at our ATEM, our source is our second monitor, which is the output from our presentation software, as well as the key source. So the same thing should work. So if I come in here and run auto, oh, let me make sure it's up first. Let's go ahead and launch it. So it's there and actually let me make sure this is looping because okay, it's already looping. So, so it's gonna keep doing that over and over again. So we just wanna make sure it stays up so we can all see this. All right, so it's playing right now. If I do a hard cut over to monitor number two, you can see it's up. The animation's up, comes down. All right, now how are we gonna superimpose that? We don't have to do anything because we already have this set up. So if I do auto, see now it's coming in and out. Now we might have to play a little bit with it because it's drowned, it's washing out the color. But I mean, that's fine. So I'm just changing the clip a little bit. And boom, so we have the full animation. Now in here, I could move this into a different location if I wanted to, or you can just make the video that way. So again, that's with animated. Now let's go ahead and cut over into, say you don't have um, an ATEM switcher and all this other stuff. How do you do this inside of OBS? So let's go ahead and turn this off and let's go back <clears throat> over to OBS. Now let's also say you don't even have um, Worship Extreme. You can do this and you don't need Worship Extreme either. But let's do Worship Extreme first. And I think I have a camera set up here so we can do this. I need a different camera outside of what I'm using. That's what I mean. All right, so let me bring up my webcam here. Let's remove all this stuff and we're just gonna go full screen. And let's resize, fit the screen. All right, so we got the full video here. All right, so I'm here over in OBS and I'm here in my um, scene. And what I'm gonna do is come down here to the plus and I'm gonna add a new media source. 
and I'm going backwards this time. I'm gonna start with the animated one first. So we'll just call it lower third. And then I want this video, I mean, I want this lower third to loop for right now. You might not want that to be done. Um, and I want it to close the file when it's inactive. Now let me go ahead and pick the video that I have. I just load it and boom, there's my lower third. Everything works great. Wait a minute, I can't see anything. So what we wanna do is go onto that source that we did, lower third, let's right click. We're gonna to go to filters. Under effect filters, we're gonna hit the plus and we're gonna to go to color key. Doesn't matter what you call it. And we wanna come here, pick a custom color and I'm gonna pick black. So now everything has been erased. You can place it wherever you want to. And there's your animation. Now, especially if you have, um, if I can get it over here, if you have one of these stream decks, the cable's not long enough for you to, read, for you to see it, sorry. Why do I do it like this, AJ? So, if you got one of these, <laughs> you can actually program it to turn that off. So the way I got it, and this is gonna be kind of difficult to do with one hand. So I made this button right here as the, to control that turning on and off. So if I hit this, oh, actually I made it twice. I'm sorry, I got it on two screens. You can't see this. I have this plugged into and programmed into my um, system that's recording this. So you'll see it on the screen right now in post. You can't see it right now on the screen right now. So that makes it easy. And then what you could do is just make multiple ones of these, um, whether it's a still image or a video. If you wanted to do a still image of it, let's turn this off. I would just come in add an image and do I have a still I don't think I have a still image of me just with my lower third but all you would do is the same thing if you had one that was at this point you would want to have the background be transparent if not if you have one that's black you just do the same thing you would add the image call it whatever you want add filter and remove the color key of a background you want to make sure that the background color is consistent. That's what makes this easy to do. Um, I think that is about it. So um, that's one thing that if you had OBS, that was your bonus. This was really for Worship Extreme, but I gave you a bonus for it. That if you were actually didn't have anything except for Worship Extreme, you could actually run it that way. And that's pretty cool. And now you can see my lower third is still running. So let me hit this button here to turn that off. But if you had Worship Extreme, you would just make a lower third as simple as just their name and associate minister, pastor, whatever information that you want to put, just play it like it's a song and it will show up if you're using a mixer, especially Atom. You can just erase that color, and I think the um, Wirecast does the same thing. Um, you would just do that, erase the color around it, and it just plays, just like you would put any lyrics up, but the only difference is you'll be able to see all the video through it, and the lower third is there. And as well, if you have OBS, you could do the same thing. You would make multiple sources, and those sources, you could call them whoever the person is that you need to have a lower third, and you just turn it on at the given, excuse me, at the given period of time, and that person's name will show up on your stream or your recording. So I hope that helps. Really simple to do, um, but it's just one of those things sometimes you just need to see it done right before you. So I hope you like this type of content, guys. If so, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come out with other great videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video later.